Hello, friends. The question of whether is space infinitely divisible is a fascinating and complex topic that intersects with various fields of physics and philosophy. This idea has intrigued scientists and thinkers for centuries, touching on fundamental aspects of the universe, such as the nature of space, time, and matter. To understand this concept thoroughly, it is necessary to explore different theories and perspectives, from classical physics to modern quantum mechanics and beyond. The notion of space being infinitely divisible suggests that no matter how small a region of space one examines, it can always be divided into smaller parts. This idea dates back to ancient Greek philosophy. Zeno of Elea famously proposed paradoxes challenging the concept of infinite divisibility. One of his paradoxes, the dichotomy paradox, argues that to travel a certain distance, one must first travel half that distance, then half of the remaining distance, and so on. According to Zeno, this involves an infinite number of steps, making motion seem impossible. While Zeno's paradoxes are more philosophical than scientific, they highlight the complexities of thinking about infinity and division. Classical physics, as formulated by Isaac Newton, treats space as a continuous and infinitely divisible entity. In this framework, space and time form a smooth backdrop where objects move and interact. Newton's laws of motion and gravitation describe how objects behave in this continuous space. According to this view, one can keep dividing space into smaller and smaller regions without encountering any fundamental limit. However, the advent of quantum mechanics in the early 20th century introduced a new perspective on the nature of space and matter. Quantum mechanics describes the behavior of particles at very small scales, where the classical notion of continuous space breaks down. Instead of being smooth and infinitely divisible, space at the quantum level appears to be quantized. This means that there are smallest possible units, or quanta, of space. The concept of quantized space is analogous to how energy is quantized in discrete packets called quanta. The smallest meaningful length scale in quantum mechanics is known as the Planck length, which is approximately 1.6 x 10 circumflex 35 meters. Below this scale, the very concepts of space and distance lose their usual meaning. The idea of quantized space raises intriguing questions about the nature of reality. If space is not infinitely divisible, what does this imply about the structure of the universe? One possible answer comes from the theory of loop quantum gravity, which attempts to reconcile general relativity and quantum mechanics. In loop quantum gravity, space is composed of tiny discrete loops forming a kind of spatial fabric. These loops are incredibly small with lengths on the order of the Planck length. This theory suggests that space has a granular structure much like a woven fabric and cannot be divided beyond the Planck scale. Another approach to understanding the divisibility of space comes from string theory. String theory proposes that the fundamental building blocks of the universe are not point-like particles, but tiny vibrating strings. These strings are incredibly small on the order of the Planck length, and their vibrations give rise to the various particles and forces we observe. In string theory, the concept of a point in space loses its meaning at extremely small scales, as the strings themselves define the structure of space. This implies a limit to how finely space can be divided, determined by the size of the strings. In addition to these theoretical frameworks, the study of black holes provides another avenue for exploring the nature of space. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. The boundary of a black hole, known as the event horizon, marks the point beyond which information is lost to the outside universe. According to general relativity, the center of a black hole contains a singularity, a point of infinite density where the laws of physics break down. However, quantum mechanics suggests that information cannot be destroyed, leading to a paradox. Resolving this paradox requires a deeper understanding of the nature of space and whether it can be infinitely divided. One proposal to resolve the information paradox involves the concept of holography. The holographic principle suggests that the information contained within a volume of space can be encoded on its boundary, much like a hologram. This principle, which arises from string theory, implies that the three-dimensional structure of space can be described by two-dimensional information. If true, 
This could provide insights into the fundamental nature of space and its divisibility. Moreover, advancements in experimental physics are shedding light on these theoretical ideas. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, and other particle accelerators allow scientists to probe the fundamental structure of matter and space at extremely small scales. These experiments help test the predictions of quantum mechanics and other theories, providing valuable data on the divisibility of space. While the idea of space being infinitely divisible has deep roots in classical physics, modern theories and experiments suggest that there may be a fundamental limit to how finely space can be divided. The concept of quantized space, supported by theories such as loop quantum gravity and string theory, points to the Planck length as the smallest meaningful scale. Below this scale, the usual notions of space and distance no longer apply, suggesting that space is not infinitely divisible. The implications of these ideas extend beyond physics into philosophy and our understanding of reality. If space is not infinitely divisible, what does this mean for our perception of the universe? How do these insights shape our understanding of fundamental concepts like continuity, infinity, and the nature of existence? These questions continue to inspire scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection, driving the quest to understand the true nature of space and its divisibility. To further explore this topic and reach the desired length, we can delve into specific examples of how the concept of space divisibility affects different areas of physics. For instance, we can discuss how the notion of quantized space influences the study of cosmology, particularly the early universe and the Big Bang. We can also examine the impact on particle physics, including the behavior of particles at high energies and the search for new fundamental particles. Additionally, we can explore the philosophical implications of finite divisibility, considering perspectives from various philosophical traditions and how they intersect with scientific ideas. Expanding on these points, we can explore the historical development of the concept of space divisibility, tracing its evolution from ancient Greek philosophy to modern physics. We can discuss the contributions of key thinkers such as Democritus, who proposed the idea of atoms as indivisible units of matter and how their ideas influenced later scientific thought. We can also examine the role of mathematics in understanding space divisibility, including the development of calculus and its application to physics. The discussion can also include the implications of space divisibility for other branches of science, such as chemistry and biology. For example, the concept of quantized space affects our understanding of molecular structures and chemical reactions, which depend on the behavior of particles at small scales. In biology, the study of cells and subcellular structures also involves considerations of space divisibility, as biological processes occur at various scales. Moreover, we can explore the technological applications of these ideas, such as the development of new materials and nanotechnology. Understanding the fundamental limits of space divisibility can inform the design of nanoscale devices and materials with novel properties. This has potential applications in fields ranging from electronics to medicine. The exploration of space divisibility can also include a discussion of the limitations and challenges in current scientific understanding. For instance, while theories like loop quantum gravity and string theory offer promising insights, they are still in the early stages of development and have yet to be fully tested. We can examine the experimental challenges in probing the Planck scale and the efforts to develop new technologies and methods to overcome these challenges. Finally, the discussion can be enriched by considering the broader cultural and societal implications of these ideas. The quest to understand the nature of space and its divisibility is part of a larger human endeavor to comprehend the universe and our place within it. This pursuit has inspired art, literature and philosophy throughout history, reflecting the deep connections between science and culture. In conclusion, the question of whether space can be infinitely divided is a profound and multifaceted topic that spans physics, philosophy and beyond. By exploring the history, theories, experiments and implications of this concept, we can gain a deeper understanding of the nature of space and the universe. This journey of discovery continues to inspire scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection, driving our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. 
One area of further exploration involves the relationship between space and time. In modern physics, space and time are intertwined in a four-dimensional construct known as space-time. The theories of general relativity and quantum mechanics both treat space-time as a fundamental component of the universe. However, the question of whether time itself is infinitely divisible is another intriguing aspect of this discussion. Just as space might be quantized, time might also have a smallest possible unit, often referred to as the Planck time. This is the time it takes for light to travel one Planck length. Understanding whether time can be infinitely divided could have profound implications for our understanding of the universe. In addition, we can examine the role of symmetry in the divisibility of space. Symmetry plays a crucial role in the laws of physics, and many physical theories are built on principles of symmetry. For example, the laws of conservation, such as the conservation of energy and momentum, arise from symmetries in space-time. Exploring how symmetry relates to the divisibility of space can provide deeper insights into the structure of the universe and the fundamental principles that govern it. The study of space divisibility also intersects with the concept of dimensions. In everyday experience, we perceive the universe as having three spatial dimensions. However, modern theories such as string theory suggest that there may be additional hidden dimensions beyond the familiar three. These extra dimensions could be compactified or curled up at extremely small scales, making them difficult to detect. Understanding the nature and divisibility of these hidden dimensions could reveal new aspects of the universe and lead to a more complete theory of everything. Another fascinating topic is the role of space divisibility in the context of the multiverse. The multiverse hypothesis suggests that our universe may be just one of many universes, each with its own physical laws and constants. If the multiverse exists, the nature of space and its divisibility could vary between different universes. Exploring this idea can expand our understanding of space divisibility beyond our own universe, offering new perspectives on the nature of reality. Furthermore, we can delve into the implications of space divisibility for information theory. In physics, information is a fundamental concept that relates to the state and behavior of physical systems. The idea that information might be conserved and quantized at the smallest scales has significant implications for our understanding of space and matter. The study of information theory in the context of space divisibility can lead to new insights into the nature of entropy, the behavior of black holes, and the fundamental limits of computation. Additionally, we can explore the potential for new discoveries and breakthroughs in the study of space divisibility. Advances in experimental techniques such as high-precision measurements and quantum simulations are opening new avenues for exploring the smallest scales of space. Future experiments and observations could provide new data and insights, challenging existing theories and leading to the development of new models. The discussion of space divisibility can also include an examination of the role of dark matter and dark energy. These mysterious components make up most of the universe's mass and energy, yet their nature remains largely unknown. Understanding how dark matter and dark energy interact with the fabric of space could provide clues about the fundamental structure of the universe and the limits of space divisibility. To further expand on these points, we can consider the historical and cultural perspectives on the nature of space. Throughout history, different cultures and civilizations have developed their own concepts of space and its structure. Comparing these perspectives can provide a richer understanding of how our modern scientific views have evolved and how they fit into the broader context of human thought. Finally, we can explore the implications of space divisibility for our understanding of consciousness and the mind. Some theories suggest that consciousness may be related to the fundamental structure of space and time. Investigating how the divisibility of space might influence the nature of consciousness can lead to new insights into the relationship between mind and matter and the nature of reality itself. In summary, the question of whether space can be infinitely divided is a profound and multifaceted topic that spans physics, philosophy, and beyond. By exploring the history, theories, experiments, and implications of this concept in great detail, we can gain a deeper understanding of the nature of space and the universe. This journey of discovery continues to inspire scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection, 
driving our quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it. The exploration of space divisibility opens up a vast and rich field of study, with many avenues for further research and discovery, ensuring that this topic will continue to captivate and challenge us for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this interesting discussion about whether space is infinitely divisible or not. Please like, comment and share the video, and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.